Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Who has two thumbs and loves playing cards? This guy. Well, hopefully you. Hopefully you do too. Otherwise, you're going to watch a deck review and you don't like playing cards, so that's a waste of time. If you do like playing cards, or if you like magic tricks, or if you like giveaways, then uh, today's your lucky day, because that's what this channel is all about. Make sure you give the channel a like, a follow, a subscribe, ring that bell, hit that super thanks button down there. Hey, do anything you can, do, do whatever you want. Show your appreciation and your thanks any way you like, all right? Thank you so much. Today, we're gonna look at the limited edition expert at the card table playing cards. These come in white, these come in green. They are currently at penguinmagic.com right now for $9. I bought this deck because I like expert at the card table. Uh, just did a review, right, for Di Vernon's Revelation uh, this, you know, over the weekend and talking to you about expert at the card table. So I thought, let's keep that expert at the card table train a rolling. Let's look at these cards. All right, the expert at the card table, uh, unequivocally the most renowned book of its kind. The expert at the card table has been often referred to as the Bible of card magic by magicians and gambling experts. And due to its content, it's still today one of the most relevant referrals on sleight of hand techniques in the world. But the identity of the author, S.W. Erdnase, even today remains one of those mysterious pseudonyms of our time. Let's break this tuck case open and look at these mysterious cards. All right, the playing cards, the limited edition expert at the card table playing cards. These come in green or white. This was a collaboration between Magic and Carta and everything Erdnase. And I've heard this is a limited edition of 1500 decks. The back design is comprised of E's. That's what these are. This is an E going around in a circle. So it's an E, an E, an E, an E, an E, all, all, you know, making a little design in there in the center. And then it says expert, right? Because E is for expert and E is also for Erdnase. Your two jokers are drawn like the figure drawings that are done in the expert at the card table. One shows a spade, a club, and what looks like a diamond, but when you pull it out, it's a heart. This is a very uh, simple child's trick that uh, kids learn, like a really simple three card money trick. Your ace of spades is done in the Erdnase green with that uh, lighter green going around the edge. And you can see underneath the spade pip, there is another E. Going through the cards, you're gonna see the pips are a little unique. The blacks are that really dark foresty hunter green. Your court cards are standard completely traditional. Your reds are kind of a little bit of a darker, deep, more blood red. They're not a bright red. And court cards, yeah, like I said, look completely standard. Uh, for the most part, I think this is, you know, pretty standard, straightforward deck. No uh, big surprises, no, no bells, no whistles. But that's just what the cards look like. You also want to know how these cards feel and how these cards handle. Uh, best thing I can do is I can weigh them and measure them, and then you can use those comparisons against decks of cards you already have in your collection. 10 cards in the caliper come to 2.86. 2.86 is more of a thicker stock, right? More of a rigid stock. And let me just say, uh, before we go any further, or we've pretty much gone far enough. <laughs> these are not printed from United States Playing Card Company. These are not printed from any uh, deck of card company I've I, I don't know who. I don't know who made these cards, but whoever made these cards, they suck. <laughs> the, the edges are really sharp and, and crispy. They're not buttery. Uh, the cards fall like pieces of cardboard. They feel like uh, just cheap gaming cards. They, they don't feel strong at all. They feel like you could fold them and they would just put a giant crease in them. Uh, I don't like the design on this. I don't feel like a lot of time was put into it. I don't like how the cards feel. So why did I get this deck? Um, because I collect expert at the card table decks of cards. I have a whole playlist on this channel of playing cards devoted to the artwork of the expert at the card table. But with this, it doesn't have anything. This looks like all original art. 
all original art. It's like an homage to the expert at the card table, but then done on crappy cardstock. So yeah, $9 at penguinmagic.com. And if you're like me and you collect expert at the card table cards, you might pick it up. But if you don't want to waste your money on a deck of cards that kind of sucks, then don't. I mean, yeah, that's, that's what I had to say. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye. Hey, and before I go, I just want to let you know that if you are looking for a friendly community made up of professional and amateur magicians just like yourself, be sure to check out the Magicians Forum at themagiciansforum.com. The Magicians Forum is helpful, clean, and you'll be able to ask questions and receive advice from people who know what they're talking about. Come see where masters like Harry Lorraine and Pop Hayden hang out. Oh, and of course, I'm there too. Looking forward to seeing you. Have a great week.